Now that you understand how classes work, and just as importantly, how they differ from structs, it's time to pause and try a small coding challenge to make sure it's all sinking in. It's time for checkpoint seven. This time, your mission is to build out a class hierarchy for animals, starting at the top with an animal struct. Give this thing a legs property to store the number of legs an animal has. You'll then subclass animal with dog, giving dog a speak method that prints a dog barking string, and then create new dog subclasses that print something different. Specifically, you want to have a corgi and poodle subclass of dog, and dog in turn inherits from animal. So there's a hierarchy here. Then have cat being another animal subclass. Again, add a speak method with each subclass printing something different, but now also add an is tame boolean and provide that with initializer. Then finally, make Persian and lion subclasses of cat. As always, I want to encourage you to try this thing for yourself. Go to an Exco playground now, have a go at solving it, and you'll learn much, much more than just watching me give out hints or solving it for you. Okay, if you're still here, let's talk hints. First up, you're gonna need seven independent classes here, of which only one animal has no parent class. To make one class inherit from another, write this, class some class colon other class. You can make subclasses have different speak methods using the override keyword. So your poodle and corgi will override the speak from dog. And your Persian and lion will override the speak from cat. And finally, all our subclasses have four legs. Corgi, poodle, lion, Persian, four legs. But you still need to pass that to the animal class inside the cat initializer. That's all the hints. Go ahead and give it a try now, and I promise you, you will learn along the way.